You are listening to Who is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? A video series to honor and celebrate the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who would like to be with the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Wasallam in Jannah? It was the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Wasallam's companions that were with him in this world. And of course, it will be those Sahaba that will be with him in Jannah as well. But we can be next to the Prophet also. And the way to do that is by acting upon the words of the Prophet when he said, Ana wa kafilul yatimi fil Jannah kahatain. I and the one who looks after an orphan will be like this in Jannah and he pointed to his or he raised his two fingers and the two fingers being next to each other like this so the Prophet والسلام, will be next to the one that looks after the orphan just as these two fingers meaning you will be next to the Prophet والسلام. Islam is a religion of compassion and it seeks to look after those that need it most and amongst them are the orphans and often you will find giving charity to the poor is mentioned alongside giving charity or looking after the orphans. The Prophet ﷺ indicated about the best houses. خَيْرُ بَيْتٍ فِي الْمُسْلِمِينَ بَيْتٌ فِيهِ يَتِيمٌ يُحْسَنُ إِلَيْهِ The best house amongst the Muslims is that house which has an orphan in it and is treated well and the worst house among the believers is that which has an orphan in it and is treated badly because one may be looking after an orphan for a relative uh, that has passed away or a, another individual so the best house is the house which has an orphan that is well looked after the Prophet ﷺ did not say the best house is that which has the best decorations uh, the best furniture in fact, the best one is that which has an orphan that is well looked after. In fact, if you look at the very roots and the beginning of the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, we re read and see that the Prophet ﷺ was in fact himself born an orphan, a yatim, and it's one of his titles as well. He was born and his father had already passed away. And soon after, his mother had passed away and he was brought up by his grandfather his noble grandfather and then soon after his grandfather also passed away and he was brought up by his noble uncle and this is why the Prophet ﷺ himself being an orphan puts the idea of looking after an orphan or the importance and significance of being an orphan in Islam right at the beginning of the seerah and how we learn about the Prophet Salam's lifetime. In fact, if you look at the religion of Islam itself, all of it is about compassion, all of it is about mercy and about helping the needy and the poor. The Quran says about praising the believers uh, and about uh, specifically also about orphans. The Holy Quran says So they give food even though they have a desire for it to the poor, those people in poverty, the orphans and the captives and there is great promise for them in the hereafter and in the Quran in many places those that give to the poor are mentioned with praise and there are great rewards promised for them. In fact, in one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said there will be blessing in the wealth of those individuals who spend on the poor, who spend on orphans and who spend on the wayfarer. The Prophet ﷺ was known in sincere. Whenever he met an orphan, an orphan child, he would stroke his hand over their heads. In fact, a very beautiful hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said, about if a person wishes to soften their hearts. In aradta an yalina qalbuka 
if you wish to soften your heart miskina, then feed the poor and wamsah ratsil yatim and stroke your head over the head of the orphan so this is a means for which to soften our hearts in fact when the prophet والسلام, described the women of the Quraysh as the best women on this earth he mentions them as a metaphor as the best women that have ever ridden a camel said that what is the reason for why they are the best women ahnahu ala yatimin fi sigarihi so they are very soft and affectionate towards the yatim the orphan in their childhood so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to have the mercy which the prophet والسلام, had on orphans and act upon those teachings which would soften our hearts as well you are listening to who is muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam a video series to honor and celebrate the life of our beloved prophet muhammad <laughs>